We've all been in a situation where we wanted to help someone out of empathy or compassion, where someone seemed so helpless that you felt like you just had to help them. But some of these people sadly just take advantage of your empathy. And today we've scoured the internet and compiled a list of some of the greatest Oscar-worthy fake beggars getting completely exposed. Let's get started. Chances are you've probably come across someone mentally handicapped before. Maybe they have a speech impediment and just simply lack the ability to communicate with others effectively. Sometimes they can also just be acting, and this strategy works more efficiently than faking something like a physical disability. I have, le I can, I have legs! Man! I can walk! Jesus! Praise most people are afraid of mentally ill people and just want to get away from them without an issue. Meet Gary Thompson, who's a master of this art. With the way he talks on the street, it's impossible to think that a normal string of words ever left his mouth. Why the camera for? Give me money and to get some eat. Journalists looked into him and uncovered his story. His mother had sued Honda for $2.5 million due to a motorcycle accident years earlier. And although the accident left him wheelchair bound, there was no effect to his mental capabilities or brain. Yeah, I'm really good at it, really good. I clear about $100,000 a year doing this. Gary actually has a degree in speech methodology, which means he's basically an expert at his job. Classic Beggar some people flock around crowded and popular lanes, usually in front of high-end shops and markets to beg for spare change. They shake their cups and it keeps filling up with money that the people walking by won't miss. But what these people don't know is that some of these beggars are probably not really needy or homeless. Take a look at this woman who begs on Fifth Avenue in New York, a high street packed with wealthy individuals. She can be seen hunched over, walking around on crutches, begging for donations. But when a news team decided to follow her, the scam was exposed. They found her getting into a minivan at night after her shift, changing clothes and emerging as a completely new person. When followed, she was seen meeting up with her friends and going shopping, walking perfectly and dressed in fine clothes. Stuck on her cell phone, got her Uggs on. When confronted the following day, like a true actor, she never broke character. Look, the jig is up. Why don't you just walk normally like you did this morning? Fake Physical Disabilities One of the most common ways that beggars gain the sympathy of passers-by is pretending to be disabled. They may pretend to be missing a limb or claim that they're paralyzed. They also commonly expose their wounds and have the most heartbreaking tales about how they got that way, and they'll tell it to anyone who listens. One example of this is a man in China who was seen traveling around on some sort of device pretending to have missing legs. Someone on the street decided to confront him and it turned out that they'd seen the two beggars just a few hours earlier on the bus, standing up on his own two legs. The man took off the beggar's pants to reveal both his legs were simply crossed under the clothes. Another beggar in China was seen dragging himself through the streets, presenting a very sad sight up until the end of the day when he gets up off the ground, counts his earnings for the day, and changes into better clothes. This sadly gives beggars a bad name and overshadows those with real disabilities who need help. Sometimes these beggars even get their whole families in on the scam as this man is seen doing. He limps across the roads with his family in tow up until a point where he needs to stop and rest on some stairs. He takes off his disguise and stands up like there was nothing ever wrong with him. Homeless Homeless people flock the streets and weave between traffic, asking for pennies and sometimes using tricks to get people to give to them. They target vehicles during rush hour, cleaning windshields and asking for money in return. This person pretended to have a seizure in the middle of the road, but after seeing that no one paid any attention to him, he got up and walked away like it had never even happened. A sight to be seen Fake blind people asking for money are also very common. They make us feel pretty sorry for them, but can probably see better than us. They walk around with a guide dog or a walking stick and sunglasses, moving their head cluelessly from side to side to convince people that they can't see. Here's an example of a man doing this in broad daylight. Except even from the back, it's pretty obvious that he's not actually blind. You can see his walking stick trailing behind him as he looks to his right to enjoy the shop displays. How blind can you be? when your blind stick is rolling behind you and you're looking into the storefronts. Bag packing. 
The latest new trend in the world of traveling is bagpacking. People from several countries, usually Russia or Japan, are hopping on this trend. They go to different cities and afford their travels by begging the locals for money. And they choose to beg for money in much poorer countries. In this clip, you can see bagpackers lining the streets of Malaysia being confronted by an angry local. The local wants to know why these people are begging in his country. You guys are begging on the street of our country. This is begging for you? Get lost. And for good reason. As not only is it against the law to sell your wares like this and ask people for money on the side of the road, but it also harms local artists or small businesses who might need the money more than these people. Fake Mothers More than 17% of children in the world are raised by a single parent and in extreme poverty. But the young women you sometimes see walking around with a child in their arms, asking people on the streets for help, are sadly more often than not actors. Sometimes they don't have a child with them, but rather give the impression that they are pregnant. When they do carry children, they can be drugged or sedated to keep them from fussing too much so they can be used as an accessory. There are even cases where the child could have been kidnapped. Take a look at this instance that happened in San Diego. This woman and her son were seen asking for money on the same spot every day for over two months. But later in the day, that same woman was picked up by a Mercedes Benz and was seen counting her money with a cheerful expression at the end of the day. She clearly has no shame. Beggars and Animals how could anyone's heart not melt at the sight of a faithful animal standing by their master's side even through the toughest of times? You can often see people sitting on the side of the road asking for money to feed their pets. And this kind of scam is also pretty popular. Like the children, these can also sometimes be sedated to keep them quiet and forced to stay outside for hours in the colder heat. If you dig into these beggars, you'll notice how often they change the animals. These beggars can be made answerable not only for fraud, but also for animals animal abuse. Sick Kids Another type of con that you could come across online is the story of a sick child whose parents need help with their medical bills and treatment. You'd think that the papers that they upload are enough to prove the case to be legitimate, but that's sadly often not the case. One incident of a scam like this being caught was when a woman was arrested in southern Nevada, USA. She lied to people on GoFundMe claiming that her son had leukemia and even going as far as lying to local law enforcement about it. Her scam was busted once someone approached investigators telling them that the boy had never been sick. The woman was then charged for obtaining money under false pretense and all donors will receive a refund. After watching this, you're probably wondering if it's even worth helping these people. The answer is that it definitely is, but in different ways. The most trusted method would be donating to one of the many reputable charitable organizations or homeless shelters around the world. Have you ever encountered a fake beggar? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on to make sure you never miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.